Welcome to our series, The 12 Dodecagram Types, where we briefly discuss each of the 12 ways that people offer worship based on dodecagram, a spiritual tool for a digital world. In this video, I'm going to discuss the activist. Listen up, folks. We're either going to save the cockroaches or we're going to die trying. Hit the like button and let's get started. Activists are advocates, campaigners, influencers, and sometimes militants. Do I look more intimidating with my beret? In a word, the religious convictions of activists compel them to stand up for others by means of legislation, social media, politics, protest, research, or journalism. In this way, the primary way activists connect with God is by advocating for others. Now, if you're familiar with dodecagram, you know that both altruist and activists draw their worship from the limbs of the body. But here's the difference. Activists advocate, altruists assist. Ooh, alliteration. Aren't we clever? Let's take, for instance, homelessness, which is a very important topic for religious leaders to address. While altruists strive to enroll a homeless person in a homeless shelter in an immediate attempt to meet the most urgent need, activists seek to engage political leaders, the courts, and local neighborhoods to lobby for laws and policies that lift individuals out of poverty itself. To be direct, altruists focus on the person, activists focus on the problem. Now, when it comes to activists, they come in all shapes and sizes, and their goals may vary widely. It could be justice, inclusion, equality, or something similar. For instance, with regard to public figures, Malala advocates for human rights, Jane Goodall for chimpanzees, and Greta Thunberg for climate change. Climate change is a lie. It's summer and I'm perfectly warm. Honey, can you turn up the heater a little bit? Yeah, then. And within world religions, Mahatma Gandhi is most famous within the Hindu, Jain, and Sikh religions, Malcolm X in the Muslim religion, and Thich Nhat Hanh in the Buddhist religion. But for those within the Christian tradition, church history is full of very prominent activists. Such activists have existed in all time periods in all geographic regions within the church. For example, Bartolomé de las Casas was famous for advocating for the rights of indigenous people during the Age of Discovery, Frederick Douglass for abolitionism and anti-racism during the American Civil War, and Elizabeth Cady Stanton during the Women's Rights Movement. More recently, we have incredible Christian examples in the lives of Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King Jr., Dorothy Day, and Desmond Tutu. What makes these individuals so impressive and unique is that their very names are a testament not to themselves, but to those they advocated for. In other words, their Christian convictions led them to advocate for others, not themselves. Which is why when we think of Martin Luther King Jr., for instance, we think less about him as a person and more about the rights of the people for whom he dedicated his life. In this way, a fitting symbol for the activist is a march, that is, a campaign on behalf of others. But lest we think too narrowly of the activist as someone who simply leads public marches, most activists offer worship or serve God in one of the following ways. Namely, through volunteering, serving on boards, leading nonprofit organizations, organizing community centers, mobilizing others to action, lobbying policymakers, and campaigning for the rights and welfare of others. Geez, way to make the rest of us feel bad. All I accomplished today was getting out of bed. Now, although there are certain denominations and traditions within Christianity that are more activist in orientation, activists are active in every corner of the church. In short, whenever someone is advocating on behalf of others as a result of their Christian convictions, activism is alive and well. In conclusion, if you like this video on the activist, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and don't forget to take our free quiz at dodecagram.com. I'll see you in the next video in our series, The 12 Dodecagram Types.